Eddie, Eddie, what you think about the fight tonight? It was amazing fights. What's the latest on uh, Devin Haney? I think we're in a good place. You know, he's here tonight. Um, I think we've got a very good chance of landing the George Cambosis fight. Um, the zone are kind of negotiating with us and negotiating with uh, Luda Bella as well, trying to bring everything together. June the 4th is the proposed date in Australia. Devin's ready to get on a plane. So hopefully we can make the undisputed fight. So let me ask you this. A lot of people have been talking about Jerome Ennis. Yeah. Have you thought about him? Or have you been looking at him? Or? I think Jerome Ennis is a brilliant fighter. Brilliant fighter. I mean, the problem is, is when you're not attached to a promotional company on the way up, you don't really build a profile. So the problem with Jerome Ennis is he doesn't have a big profile. Yet he, is, he may be the best welterweight in the world now. Woo! Right? A bit like Terence Crawford, they never built, built him on the way up. He's a guy that won a lightweight world title, become undisputed at 140, won the world welterweight title, one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. They never done the right job for him. So Jerron Ennis has got to be careful because by not aligning himself with a promotional company, no one's pushing him. Yet he's brilliant. So I don't know what the strategy is, but I'm sure he'll get there because he's very good. Eddie, your relationship. I think he'd really enjoy it. Eddie, what inspired you to get in the ring and spar? Was that the Canelo feint the day before? Was Frank Smith said to me, let's go and do a spar. And I went in the ring, because we always have a ring set up in the hotel. And um, I went in there and there was cameras and people. And I thought, he's smaller than me. My dad phoned me up and said, stop beating up smaller people. But, you know, he, I thought we were going to take it easy, but he started singing to me. I broke my finger as well. Do you want to call that. out anybody? Sorry? Do you want to call anybody out? No. You've got to pay up, Ellie, to get me knocking people out. You know, if you want me to knock out Len Ellaby and you want me to knock out uh, Jake Paul, you've got to pay me for that shit. That's coming from my